Okay, today we're going to show you how to reline the Koa Battle Axe. If you bought the kit, you have three of the extra stretch bungees, about 60 feet of mono, the Battle Axe slide ring. Before relining, first you want to make sure that you have your fixed part of the line system attached already, which comes pre-rigged on the gun when you buy it. This does not stretch, it's just a fixed point with a snap. And first we're going to hook up the, show you how to hook up the line release part of the battle axe to make sure it functions properly. Before doing this part, make sure that the shaft is in the muzzle of the gun and load it into the trigger mechanism. You'll notice that the line release has a little bit of play. That's normal. It needs to have that amount of play to function properly. First, you want to make the mono loop separately and then loosely put it over the line release and the anchor for the line release. Then you want to make sure to snug it down to the point where the line release is in the farthest back position. So it can't move forward. If it has too much movement forward, when you go to load the gun, you'll be fighting against the line release and the trigger will have trouble accepting the shaft. So you want to make sure that's at the farthest point possible. Next, you want to crimp the loop on the other side. After you crimp this loop, which now fits over the line release and snugs it down into the back position so it cannot move forward and it will accept a free shaft without a problem. After that, you crimp the other side, keeping this very short, no longer than about three and a half inches tops. You can shrink wrap the crimps to make it look clean and to keep it from ever chafing the mono. Next you want to attach the uh, line release retainer to the extra stretch bungee by going through the second loop you just made and then back through itself. To make loading easier or to make the setup easier after you've cinched that down you go through the bungee again with what you just made and leave it as a loose loop on the other side and in a minute we'll show you where that comes into play then you take this and you slide the slide ring over the tip of the shaft and bring it to the front of the muzzle and leave the slide ring or leave the bungee there to attach the mono. Then you attach the mono to the snap that's fixed to the line anchor and crimp it down. and run two passes, one down to the line release, back up to the line anchor, down to the line release, and then bring it up to a little bit past the back of the bungee and snip it. Then you run the mono Run the crimp down the mono and then run the mono through that second loop that you made on the bungee. Put it back through the crimp and you want to cinch it down to where it has just enough pressure or just enough pull on the muzzle to stay on the shaft or to stay on the gun without falling off. Don't want to over tighten it or else it won't reach over the tip of the shaft. You'll notice You'll notice that the battle axe, when you receive it, has this little 45 degree eighth inch pin that sticks out about a quarter inch on the gun. That's your half wrap to create the fulcrum to allow it to slip over the tip of the shaft. So after you've rigged the mono on there and it's slightly tight enough to stay on the gun, what you want to do is 
pull it back over the tip of the shaft. And then hook it back onto the uh, retainer and line release. And then you push it all the way down to give it tension. And you'll notice that it sits right on the half wrap perfectly and now your line is tight to the gun and you're ready for free shafting without any problems.